Hi, I'm Andy Fletcher and I'm the Acorn Bearing Product Manager and today I'm going to demonstrate best practice fitting using the bearing heater. So I've got a bearing to fit onto the demonstration style and as you can see it doesn't actually fit so I could use manual techniques or I can use uh, the equipment which is the SKF TWIM15. So I've already preset it to heat up to 100 degrees so just put the bearing on the heater thermocouple goes onto the inner ring, press start, so that will heat the bearing up to the correct temperature. So if you have a pacemaker you need to remember to take a bit of care with this because it can interfere with your pacemaker. If you've got a watch the electrical current can affect that as well so just be careful make sure you take your watch off and if you've got a pacemaker just be safe. So that noise indicates that it's ready so all we have to do Take the uh, thermocouple off, take the bearing over to be fitted, and it should just slide on, just like that. So what we do, hold it in position for 20-30 seconds, wait for the bearing to cool uh, around the interference fit, that way it will avoid any gaps between the abutment and the bearing. And job's got in.